Welcome back. Well, one Bozeman softball player brought the softball community from all over the world together, all in hopes of helping her make a miraculous recovery. Next, you know, I remembered I grabbed my bag and I was looking down and all I remember is me getting hit in the side of the head, but and I fell to the ground. That was it. 13 year old Bozeman softball player Whitney Rogers was collecting her equipment back after a game when she was hit by another player in the head with a ball. So we rushed to the school as fast as we could. When we showed up, she was laying on the ground. Absolutely one of the worst moments of our life we've ever had to deal with. Rogers was rushed to the hospital where a CT scan found she had bleeding on the brain. And it had grown 15% larger than what it was in Panama City. So that was horrible. We um, did lots of praying. But it wasn't just her family praying. Her story was posted on Facebook by her travel ball team, Addictive Elite, and it went viral. Softball teams from all over the world began sending prayers to Whitney. Just the love that people have showed us is just like, it's overwhelming. We just, we have no clue where all these people come from that are just praying for my child, my baby. And I think with all the prayers, it's really, you know, it worked. Just three days later, Rogers walked out of the hospital with a brand new scar on her head. It was amazing. I was in shock that I was here. The good thing is my hairline just goes with it, so you can't really see it. And as for getting back on the field, Rogers plans to return as soon as possible. With God on our side, she's great. And we're going to be back on the field. So it's exciting, really. I'm, I'm excited to see what he has for her.